Each month we recognize employees who have long-standing service with their county by presenting special lapel pins to commemorate their commitment and dedication to providing important services to our community and residents. Today I'm pleased to recognize and honor seven employees who have been invaluable assets to Dare County over the years. First is Major Jeff Derringer, a deputy with the Sheriff's Department with 10 years of service. Jeff began working for the Dare County Sheriff's Office in 2010. He had previously worked for the Sheriff's Office as a detention officer and later as a civil deputy before continuing his career with the Duck Police Department. Jeff began his career with Dare County as a lieutenant and was promoted to captain in March 2011. He was responsible for the administrative aspect of the office and he did his job very well. Jeff is knowledgeable and he works just as hard at home from the office as he does at work. Jeff was promoted to the position of major on December 16, 2014, and he has excelled in taking care of administrative duties while also assisting with the civil and patrol side. His co-workers say he's a lot like the character Radar O'Reilly on the TV show MASH. Before Sheriff Dowdy can ask him to do something, Jeff is already walking into the office with the paperwork in hand, or he's on the phone telling the sheriff something he has just done before he's even asked to do it. Jeff is a true asset to the sheriff's office and would be very hard to replace. We look forward to many more years with Jeff here and thank him for a job always well done. Next, we have Sheriff Doug Dowdy of the Dare County Sheriff's Department. Sheriff Dowdy came out of retirement and was elected and became sheriff in December of 2010. Prior to becoming sheriff, he worked as a police officer in Ahoskie, North Carolina, and later as a deputy in Dare County Sheriff's Department before retiring. Doug is one of those people that you meet, and as soon as you meet him, you like him. After you talk to him a few minutes, you also know that he cares. He cares about his faith, his family, his responsibilities, and about you. He always has a smile and has a heart of gold. His personality takes him far. He is a person who can arrest someone and take them to jail, and that person gives him a hug before he leaves. With all that, he's an excellent, effective, no-nonsense law enforcement officer. It is clear that he is in charge, and we should all sleep well knowing that he is. His department is well-run and well-managed. I can assure you that he is keenly aware of the resources the citizens have entrusted to him, and he stretches those resources as far as is reasonably possible. Doug is a dedicated family man with his wife and their three adult children and is very active in his church. Doug is and has been an asset to our community. Thank you, Doug, for your service over the many years and we look forward to many more. Next, we have Jill Liveran. Jill's a public health nurse too for the Dare County Department of Health and Human Services and she also has 10 years of service. Jill is a Baby Links nurse for the Dare County Department of Health and Human Services. Baby Links stands for loving infants, newborns, and kids. She provides support to every new mother and her child from birth to age one, empowering them to be healthy, secure, and ready for success. Jill makes home visits to new mothers and infants, providing nursing assessments of the mother and newborn as well as follow-up when it is needed or requested by the family or physician. She offers breastfeeding support and parenting support as well as education for both. Jill provides the coordination of other services and referrals to community resources as needed for Dare County citizens. We appreciate everything you do for Dare County, Jill, especially for our new mothers and their children. Next is Eric Portilla. Eric's a senior custodian at the Dare County Center. He too has 10 years of service. Eric is an awesome team player. He is patient, kind, and caring. He loves to help people. He's the only guy on a team full of women and he handles that job very well. Eric is helpful to all of his coworkers and he is constantly pitching in and doing the heavy lifting for lots of special events and activities. He also helps out with the nutrition program and delivers meals regularly to Dare County's homebound clients. Eric is a huge part of the success of all programs and activities at the Dare Center. He also serves a vital role as the interpreter for the large Latino population the center serves in many of its programs and activities. This helps the Dare County Center to better serve the community without having to deal with a language barrier. Thank you, Eric, for your service to Dare County. Next, we have Elizabeth Riley, the Dare County Human Resources Director, who's receiving her 10-year pin. Elizabeth was hired as our HR Director in 2010. She came to us after having worked in the HR Department at ECU and for several years as the HR Director of the Town of Kitty Hawk. I remember when Elizabeth was interviewed for the HR Director position. After the interview, the HR Director and I almost simultaneously said, this is the one, she has it. What is it? It is the knowledge and experience to perform the multifaceted role of HR Director, where you're a psychiatrist one day, an accountant the next, a friend, a resource, and the list goes on. It is dedication and loyalty to profession, to the county, and most importantly, to the well-being of the employees of the county. It is teamwork as she works with 16 departments, 750 employees, 
hundreds of retirees and numerous outside vendors every day to be sure all are treated fairly, that everything is in compliance, and that we are up to date in a rapidly changing field. And it is maybe most importantly, sensitivity, empathy, and caring for each one of our employees. She is often the shoulder they cry on, the friend that is needed, the problem solver, the voice of reason, and yes, at times, the disciplinarian. But in all cases, she has the best interest of the employee and the county in mind, and she truly cares. She performs these functions with a smile and with humility and is a tremendous asset to the county. Thank you, Elizabeth, for having it and for your 10 years of service to Dare County. I look forward to many more. Next, we have Sergeant David Safel with the Dare County Sheriff's Department. David has 15 years of service. Dave started with Dare County Sheriff's Office as a road deputy and has spent most of his time in the Hatteras Island District. He works hard and is a dedicated employee of the Sheriff's Office. For many years, Dave was a canine officer and his partner was named Rico. They rode many a mile together. His co-workers put a slab in Dave's yard for Rico and Dave built the dog a shed that had air conditioning in it for the summertime. Dave was rewarded for his hard work and promoted to sergeant in August 2017, and he's done a great job in his supervisory role. Dave has always looked after the people under his command, which comes from his military background where he served as a United States Marine. Simplify, David, and thank you for all your hard work to the citizens of Dare County for 15 years. We look forward to having David around for many more. Next, we have Deputy Dustin Walston with the Dare County Sheriff's Department, who also has 15 years of service. Dustin started with the Dare County Sheriff's Department as a road deputy working in the Manio District. Dustin is easy to get along with and enjoys being around people. He enjoys his job very much and is always interested in trying to improve in what he does. About 18 months ago, Dustin went through the Highway Patrol Training Center Motorcycle Operations School. When weather condition allows, he operates the motorcycle on patrol. Dustin has recently changed assignments and is now a school resource officer. He has worked in Manio High School and is now working in First Flight Middle School. He's done a wonderful job with students and parents alike. Dustin is a well-rounded officer and we thank him for his service and look forward to good things in his future. Congratulations to our December service pen recipients and thank you for all your dedication to our community and for your continued service to Dare County.